What's up, this is EasyOSX, and in this video I'm going to show you how to control your Roku with Siri. To start off with, you need to download the Roku app from the iOS App Store. Make sure to grab this one, the official one. Don't grab any third party ones. Once you have it downloaded and installed, open it up, and click on the settings icon in the top right hand corner. Then toward the middle you'll see a manage section with Siri shortcuts underneath it. Click on that and you'll now have a list of available Siri shortcuts that you can use. To set one of them up, click on it. In this case, I'll hit play Roku. Then set the activation phrase for that command. The default one here is play Roku, but you can change this depending on what's more memorable to you. When you're done, hit save shortcut. Now towards the bottom, you'll notice two other commands. This first one that's called turn on Roku and the second one turn off Roku. These have a couple extra settings that you want to make sure that you enable on your actual Roku. We'll get to that in a second. Make sure you're also connected to the correct Roku TV in the remote app. If you don't set that, you may accidentally start controlling the wrong Roku. To make sure the turn off and on command work, go to your Roku TV, go to settings, and then you want to scroll to the system section. Then in that section, go down to control other devices CEC. This is a particular command for Roku TVs that are built into the device rather than separate boxes. But if you have a box, you'll want to make sure that this CEC setting is enabled as well, so that your TV will come on at the same time your Roku does. For both boxes and built-in TVs, then go to the power setting and scroll down to fast TV start. With this setting enabled, your Roku will actually go to sleep when you turn it off, rather than actually shutting off. This will use a little bit more power, but it will keep your Roku on the network and controllable by Siri and the Roku remote app. But with those settings enabled, all you have to do is say, turn on Roku, and your Roku will come on. If for some reason you're having issues controlling the Roku, either via the remote app or Siri, you wanna go back to the settings section, go to advanced system settings, and make sure the control by mobile app setting is enabled and it's set to default. One other thing to note is that it seems to be locked to the iPhone you set it up with. So when I try to control my Roku via Siri, either with the Siri shortcut app or my voice, I still got an error message saying that it couldn't work. I don't know if this is a personal problem or not, but just FYI. And that's how to control your Roku with Siri. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. It really helps the channel grow. You can also subscribe to the channel for more Mac and iOS tips, tricks, and advice. You can also check us out on social media as well as on our website, easyosx.net. Thank you all again so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.